Namaste, I am Vasant Kumar Hedchand, third year BAMS undergraduate student from STM College of Ayurveda and Hospital Hassan. I am Sneha Sishekar, third year undergraduate student from SDM College of Ayurveda and Hospital Hassan. Today we are here to just give an insight about the importance of mandala art in mental health. Well, health is the most precious factor in everyone's life journey. Then do you mean if you do not have cough, cold, fever, etc. are you healthy? Well, health is a broad spectrum which is masking both physical as well as mental health. In today's world, in the process of con concentrating about the physical health, we are just forgetting the importance of focusing on mental health. Mental health is uh, referring to cognitive, behavioral as well as emotional changes. Uh, looking or concentrating on mental health would preserve a person's ability to enjoy one's own life. Conditions like stress, anxiety, depression, etc. are just uh, deviating your mental health and thereby disrupting your daily routine. In today's world, each and every individual are stuck within one or the other mental stress. To this, not always medication and counselling would work. Sometimes self-time, self-motivation, self-willingness would be a better path to choose. In this process, art can be selected as one of the most important weapon that each individual can adapt. The goal of art therapy is to utilize the creative process in which it helps the people to explore self-expressions and it helps in finding many ways to gain personal enlightenment and cope up with uh, new developing skills. The creation and appreciation of the art helps the people to explore uh, inner emotions and self-awareness and uh, cope up with the stress and uh, boost us the boost us the esteem and it also helps in the social skills then uh, by creating a art you can uh, analyze what you have made and how it makes you feel by repeated pro process of practicing this art gives rise to many thoughts which you put on the paper mandalas means circle in sanskrit which represent the sacred symbols and these are used in various processes like healing, meditation and art therapy. This is useful for both children as well as adult. Helps in gaining focus and concentration and helps in easing stress, depression and anxiety. In Ayurveda, Acharya Vagbata in Ashtangaradaya explains about three main important treatment for Manasaroga or which is told as mental diseases that is the dhairyatma di vignana manodho shaushadam param. The is knowledge, dhairya is courage, atma di vignana is knowledge of self. And these three processes can be attained through this art that is mandala. Because mandala here we usually uh, give more time to self. So all these processes can be attained through mandala art. Circle represent a safe and contained space which helps the both adult and people of uh, children who are uh, suffering from anxiety disorder, post-traumatic disorder. It helps by repeated process of mandala art. It gives rise to a calm meditative state. So by hearing to all these, you may think this would work in a positive way only to the artist. This is absolutely false. This art is for each and every individual who do not even have a grip of art too. The most important requisites for this art will be calmness, your willingness and time. The basic requirements for practicing of mandala are a sheet of paper, pen or pencil, other stationary items. The art is practiced or done in three major steps. Step 1. Grid formation, where you create a foundation for the artwork. Divide the paper to four quadrants, find the midpoint. Drawing the circles of various radius of your choice, fragmenting the circle to many parts. Step 2. Learning the second fundamental part. It's about learning various patterns. Then choose one pattern and repeatedly draw the same pattern focusing on them. Similar to chanting mantras, it should help gaining focus while repeating the process. Step 3. Combination of step 1 and step 2. Here patterns of your choice are drawn continuously in each circle helping yourself to bring all your focus and concentration on one point thereby easing your stress and enter the meditation state. 
After gaining foundation step and step of focus, you enter to the meditative state. In our institution, the same scientific mandala art has been trialed in patients of depression and ADHD and we have seen a greater result in their improvement. So from now, let's give a bit of self-time and inculcate this mandala art and see a better future.